Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, back to Scrap Mechanic. And today, I've done something a little bit weird with the workshop. Uh, normally, when you download something on the workshop, it's because you think it's going to do something cool or interesting, or it looks amazing, or it has some type of crazy function. This time, I kind of went the other direction, and I downloaded stuff that people said were broken and needed fixing. So these four creations I've handpicked to try to fix what's wrong with them in today's episode. And I'm starting over here from what I think and I'm assuming is going to be easiest to the hardest because I'm pretty sure that's a walker there, which I don't. These are actually th these are these are close competitors because this I think is supposed to be a hovercraft that I think is supposed to be a walker. Hovercrafts and walkers are a little bit more difficult than your typical car like you might be seeing over here. All right, so let's start off with this guy here. This is by Alicia Price. And as you can see, it was called Please Fix It. So let's hop in here and let's see what's wrong with this thing. All right, well, I mean, it goes forward and backwards just fine. We got a button. Uh, this does the radio. Well, I already see one problem with this thing. And, um, oh, oh. Oh, <laughs> that is the last thing I expected when I pressed the turning button. All right, well, at least the problem is easily identifiable. So let's take a look at what's going on here. Yeah, so <laughs> this is just funny. You got most of it right. You got most of it right. You got the engines hooked up to the wheels. They're all spinning in the right direction. You got your engines hooked up to your seat. You did a lot of steps exactly the way you're supposed to do it. The problem is you even put the steering bearings in like the right kind of position in relation to the wheel. You just put the steering on the wrong wheel. So what we got to do is we have to move the steering to the front wheels or the front and back wheels. If we want four wheel steering. So this shouldn't take too long to fix. So here, we're just going to remove all of these wheels and we're going to slap them back on with the appropriate steering bearings. All right. So we got steering. We got steering. We remove steering. And I need duct pieces. All right, there we go. There we go. There we go. Do the same thing on this side. What is that wheel doing? Free energy. Hey, don't question scrap mechanic physics, all right? All right, there we go. And now we, uh, we bring the good old weld tool out. And we weld these back on. And then repeat on this side. I just actually, I just noticed that your back wheels have concrete on them. All right, so now we just got to hook the engines back up and then hook the steering in and your front bearings are going to get reversed. And now we should have a fixed car. Look at this. This thing, this thing's amazing. This thing's amazing. Oh, okay. I could have saw that coming, but you know what? We're fine. We're fine. That's why you have six wheels because um, when you flip over, you always got a wheel to rely on i don't i don't know what i'm saying oh wait wait sorry my bad i didn't actually fix it completely there we go now it's fixed now it is exactly as it should be all right not bad not bad at all i will declare mission accomplished this is no longer broken fixing has been achieved all right now this thing who is this by? This is called Can You Fix It by Steny94. Now, this, uh, there's a lot of questionable stuff here. What is going on? Like, what is this with the front? Why are these on? Why are these here? Why do they exist? I don't know what that is. Uh, the grill is like, seems to be intentionally offset. I don't know what the issue with that. The wheels, there's clearly issue. Why are there nothing? There's nothing hooked up to the wheels. Like, I'm not kidding that this is how this thing came. Look, I, I spawned it in. This is exactly how this thing came in. I made no modifications to these before the episode. This isn't clickbait or anything. This is literally downloaded straight from the workshop. I even, you may notice there's nothing even hooked into either of the seats. And there is a, th th why is this on a controller? What? Okay, well, there we go. F fix that. That's fixed. All right, there's one. Um, what if I... Okay, that's not entirely... What? What is this? What are you doing? Was this built specifically to be, like, messed up in particular ways? I wonder. Okay, well, um, these bearings are just not where they're supposed to be at all. 
but let's hook them up. There's, I just noticed there's not even any, there's not even any bearings for the wheels themselves. There's nothing that spin the wheels. So that's why I'm just gonna have some fun initially and let's just hook the engine up to uh, the bearings that we have available to us. All right, and let's just max it on out here. Hop in the seat and press the button. Okay, this is hilarious. <laughs> Hi. Hi. <laughs> this is the funniest car I've ever seen. I love this. Is it fixed? Can we declare this fixed? This is like, this is better than I would have ever expected. Oh, this is amazing. <laughs> this is hilarious. I want this to be how all cars work in the future. This has to be the future of transportation right here. Oh, that is so funny. Okay, but let's start with this is serious business, Scramman. Serious business. You know it's serious because I'm talking to myself in the third person. I think an obvious adjustment we can make here is let's actually put the grill more centered. I don't know if this thing, no, of course it doesn't actually have a center point, but you know what? That's good enough. It's better. Uh, let's just move these in just for, so that they're in. It looks a little bit better that way. And uh, the wheels, the wheels are the big issue right here. So all, this is actually not that bad. All we have to do is rotate these wheels. So here, we delete that. I put it back and then I take this and I do that. Is that in the right spot? Yeah, that's in the right spot. And now it's actually a steering bearing. But the only other issue is we need bearings for the wheels. So we do that. We do that, we do that. Look at this, this is actually gonna be not too bad at all. Let me just do the wheels first. Put some bearings on the wheels. All right, all the bearings are on the wheels. And now we're just gonna delete, put it back, and then wait for that to stop spinning. And... Weld it right in line with the other wheel, like that? I'm doing this right. I know how to fix creations. I have like over 2,000 hours in this game. There we go, there's another one. And then final wheel to be adjusted. All right, just like that. All right, so now we should be able to hook this up to the steering and then hook the engine up to the wheels. And I think we have it. I think we have a fixed car. Actually, what we're gonna need is uh, we're gonna need the engine to be a little bit less if we want this thing to work. I think everything's hooked up. Look at this. Look at this thing. This thing's actually not too bad now. This is a fully functional, fixed car. The steering could be a little bit better. The wheels are a little bit one block further away from the uh, steering bearing than I normally put them. And that makes it a little bit awkward, but you know what? This works. This works perfectly fine. All right, but just out of curiosity, let's take it from fixed to even more fixed by maxing out the engine. All right, and here we go. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Now we can do some wheelie. Fixed it. Okay, the easy ones are over. Now we're gonna get on to the, the stuff. Yeah, these are not simple creations. So if they're broken, they're gonna be broken. All right, so, uh, oh, who's this made by? This is by Shime Tech, and it's just called Somebody Fix This. <laughs> I'm a kid that just got this game about two months ago, tried to build a large scale of hovercraft, and honestly, I'm surprised it got this far. It's still bad though, and I wanna leave it up to the Steam community to make it better. It's really the turning that's bad. All right, you know, let's just push buttons and see what happens. Let's see what we're working with here. You know, when I say fix, I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna say, I'm gonna try to make it better. All right, number one. Okay, well, we already have a problem that thrusters, since the survival update, the thrusters actually behave differently. And by the looks of it, this was probably built before the survival update. So I think it's even more broken than he already thought it was just because of the survival update. All right, number two. Three. All right, we got some lights. Number four, no connections. That's fantastic. Number five appears to be forward thrust. Uh, six. Oh, no connections, apparently. All right, number seven is to steer to the right. Number eight is to steer to the left. That's a little bit counterintuitive. Number nine is to go backwards on one side. And ten. zero is to go backwards on the other side. Okay, so the obvious issue that I'm seeing is right now, at least, not enough thruster power. 
So let's go ahead and let's just boost all these up and see where that leaves us. Do we even have enough thrusters to lift this thing off the ground? All right, and number one. Okay. All right, all right. Oh, 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 look at that. I was wondering what the sensors were for. When it gets up to a certain level, the thrusters go down. And that's actually counter to what you would want because when they point down, they give you more upwards thrust. So I think we have an easy solution here. We just switch these to NOR. Look at that. Now we're going to be pointing down initially, which is going to give us more upwards thrust. And if I remember correctly, we had a little bit too much in the front. So let's put this, these ones down. And let's see how that affects us now. All right, number one. Oh, look at that. We're going straight up now. And, oh boy. All right, well, that, hold on. The dog, the, or the walker, I think it's a dog. I don't know. I, I kind of assume all walkers are dogs after Boston Dynamics releases their four-legged dog videos. All right, let's try this again. Flat ground. Okay. All right, we're getting somewhere. Look at the... What? We're getting somewhere. I think we just have a little bit too much thrust. We want to just barely, there we go. Yes, and then as we get back towards the ground, it should point down and bring us back up again. Look at this. Look at that, this is actually kind of cool. You were onto something, man. You were onto something. All right, now let's check out the other controls. Uh, five is to go forward. All right, clearly, I mean, this is working. But clearly we need more thrust. Let's give this thing some more thrust. Oh boy, yeah, these are way down. I think I might be overdoing this. I might... I might have overdone this. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, there's a feedback loop. Feedback loop happens, that's bad. That, I don't know how to fix feedback loop. Oh no. <laughs> don't worry, don't worry, it's fine. It's fine, it's fine. It's fine. Okay. Yeah, see, that's not bad. This thing kind of does work. The thrust is a little bit below the center of mass. So here, let's see what they're hooked up into. We just need to move them up a bit. There we go. All right, slight improvement there. Okay, so now, uh, oh, we didn't even try out the turning yet. Let's try out the turning. That was his main complaint was the turning. We probably just have to do the same thing. Just realign the thrusters. All right, yep, so the, it's clearly, oh, that gets us into a feedback loop. So clearly the center of thrust is above the center of mass there because it tilts us to the opposite side. So, oh, he built them in as well. So that's gonna make things a little bit interesting as far as moving these. That's not bad. It's not great. It's not bad. And we're having the issue. Yep, uh, we're having a lot of issues. This is broken. We need to, we got fixing to do. I don't think we need two sensors on both of these. I think we only need one. Just the outside. We don't need the inside. All right, and for the sake of symmetry, I'm also going to add some to the back like this. There we go. Look at that. We turn in place much better after adding the rear ones. That's actually really good. We're a hovercraft and we're okay. We're a hovercraft and we're, we're not okay. Okay, there's something else that needs to happen here. I'm going to unhook the end thrusters from the logic gate they're hooked into. And I'm, this is an attempt to try to fix the feedback loop. And instead, I'm gonna hook the corresponding sensor directly into it. Oh boy, it's like already gliding around a little bit. What? How are the four, why, how are the four thrusters enough to do that when we need like all of those thrusters just to get off the ground? All right, well, let's see how this works now. All right, so now those thrusters will actually turn off once this side uh, gets too far above the ground. And I'm hoping that's gonna act, it actually seems to be stabilizing, stabilizing us a lot more. So now let's try turning and see if we can fight this feedback loop. All right, see, there goes the feedback loop, but look, it's more auto correcting itself rather than getting into a feedback loop. A lot more action's happening, but it's working. So now I'll try to go forward. Oh, we're getting into a bit more of a feedback loop. This is bad. Oh, I thought I fixed it. Did I though? Did I? No, no, this is not going too well right now. This is really not going all that well, but we didn't flip over this time. That's progress. And we're bouncing off the ground and we're going forward and we're bouncing off the ground and we're flipping through our nose. And you know what? 
do we really need this whole tilting action at all? All right, what if we just unhook these controllers from the logic gate and we just default them to this angle? Now this, is this it? Is this all we needed? Because I think the swaying of the thrusters was hurting us more than helping us. All right, now we go forward. Forward is easy. And we turn. Uh oh, here's the moment of truth. We're definitely swaying. We're wobbling. But we're stabilizing. We are stabilizing. I think we have found the fix. We can turn. We can hover. We can stabilize. I think you just, you, you went a little bit more complicated than you needed. You had some good idea with the, uh, with just the, the angling of the thrusters. It looks cool, but ultimately it was hurting us more than it was helping us. Now, like, it really seems like this thing is pretty functional. Like, I'm putting it to the test right now. I'm, I'm holding out the throttle. I'm turning, like, all the way around while I'm going. And we are not flipping. We're not getting in any feedback loop. This is good. This is good stuff. I'm gonna say we fixed it. We can turn fine, everything works. Oh wait, let's go with reverse too. Oh yeah, look at that. Reverse is fine, one button for it. This is great. We got all the controllers you can want in the hovercraft and it hovers too. This actually isn't so bad. All right, I'm gonna declare another fixing success. All right, and now the, 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 the thing, this, this thing here. Um, this is called just Broken Walker by Sir Bubbles. And let's see how broken it really is. It looks, oh, it doesn't even have turning. It's just one button. All right, let's press the button. Okay, one leg. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Guys, this is definitely broken. The, oh no, what is that leg gonna do now? This is definitely broken. <laughs> Oh, this is gonna take some fixing. What are the front legs? Are those even the front legs? Oh, <laughs> it's starting to look more humanoid now. All right, we got some fixing to do. We definitely got some fixing to do. My first thing that I'm noticing is like, that looks more natural to me already. Uh, the other thing, there's some like, there's some timers up here and these timer, that's zero, eight. Four? Twelve? What is even going on with these? I feel like, uh... I don't know. I do not know. Well, let's take a look here. Oh, well, there's your problem. If you're gonna have a cycle, this is on loop. If you're gonna have a loop, these all need to add up to zero. And these ones add up to zero. This does not add up to zero. So let's go ahead and just cancel that out. This is this leg. Let's see how that feels now. All right. See that? That's a good start. Look at that. So now we just got to cancel them out on all. I'm hoping that it's all the same programming. Yes. Reverse those. All right. Now let's see how that feels. Yeah, it's just the timing of the legs is the big thing right now. So my goal with this, it's broken. Yes. And my goal is to get this thing to walk forward. And oh, I see another problem already. Those legs are going way too far forward. Oop. <laughs> We're like swimming now. <laughs> What is this? Oh, that's kind of fun. All right, these ones, uh, I think it's just this, this default position needs to be more sideways, I think. So let's go with just zero. And you know what? Let's just set everything, all these timers to zero because I don't want to have to wait for the legs to start. I need to see what's going on right away when I press the button here. All right, now I feel like the front legs are a little bit better. So this is interesting. Now we just gotta time, I think now all we really gotta do is just time the legs. So what if I just have opposite legs start at the same time? This is a four, a four step cycle. So I think each one is one second. So then let's have these ones start two seconds later in the middle of the cycle, the opposite legs. All right, so let's see how this feels. That we almost have it. This is walking. It doesn't look that majestic. It, it's got, it doesn't look that majestic. I'll give it that. 
or I'll take away that, I guess. I'm not giving, that's not giving it anything positive there. But it now walks forward, which is progress. And you know what? I feel like the back legs go a little bit too far forward and that's causing it to uh, fall back a little bit. So what if the default is actually 45 degrees instead of 30 degrees? That's a little bit better. All right, you know what? Let's give it some turning now. We're gonna use uh, the classic suspension glitch turning, which is great for this kind of creation. All right, so we just put that there and, oh, let me get the short suspension. Here we go. All right, just like that. Hook that into steering. It's probably gonna have to go reverse. Oh, hello. You look like a statue now. Well, uh, there we go. Look at that. Now we got some turning. All right, let's walk. You just turn and it's a walker. It walks. It's a little bit of an awkward walk, but it's not broken anymore. It does what it's supposed to do now. I mean, it definitely does it a lot more efficiently than the initial version that we spawned in. Well, this actually went pretty well. Uh, I'm missing a creation here. Oh, I think it's way over there. Well, let me get my, yep. It's still just floating around over there. That one was actually, that one I think was even harder than this one. Hovercrafts are apparently har harder than walkers, or at least that hovercraft was. That hovercraft had a lot going on for it. But we fixed two wheel-based vehicles, one hovercraft and one walker in this episode. Is this something that you guys would like to see me try more again? Uh, searching for broken creations and then trying to fix them up in whatever way I figure out how to do it. Let me know down in the comments below. If you enjoyed this episode and you want to see some more Scrap Mechanic content, check out this playlist on the end screen right here. Hope this video has earned your subscription. Anyway, this has been Scrap Man, and I'll see you next time. Bye.